Hey Wrangler 4xE fans, the video you're about ready to see is one I made for the service department at my local Jeep dealership. And uh, this happened a couple months ago. My Wrangler 4xE started making a weird sound from the rear end of the vehicle and uh, couldn't figure out what it was. I, I started thinking it was the rear diff, but I had, I'm not a mechanic, I don't, you know, I don't know how to isolate these things, but I started feeling like there was something in the rear diff. You'll see in the video why I, I say that. But I, um, I I took it to my local Jeep dealership, which is Dayton Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, formerly Evans Arena Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. And uh, there's a mechanic there just does a fantastic job. Service department's great. They found that I had a leaky seal on the axle, repaired that, gave me the Jeep back to it, and the sound was still there. And took it back to him, and luckily the mechanic that that works on mine, uh, he, it's like the only 4xE he gets to see, but he's a guy that's been around for a long time, he knows Jeeps, he knows vehicles, and he said, you know, I remember a, a Bulletin or a TSB, I think they called it, from another vehicle, I think it was a Charger or something with a limited slip, that uh, that would make this weird sound like this, and they ended up adding a modifier to the rear differential, which is, a, I don't understand rear differentials, but you know, there's there's the fluid that goes in there, and then there's a modifying fluid that, that's a, like a friction modifier kind of thing. But anyway, I wanted to share this video for anyone else who starts hearing a weird sound, and you'll see in the video what it is uh, that, you're, that seems to be coming from the rear of the vehicle, uh, and uh, hopefully this helps somebody else who may have this issue. Now, limited slip rear differentials are not very common on the Saharas. Uh, it was an option, and I don't even think it's an option anymore. I was looking on the website a little bit ago, and I don't see it as an option on the Saharas and high altitudes, and it wouldn't have been an option on the Rubicon since it has the, the locking rear differential. So uh, the odds of having a limited slip rear differential in a Sahara or high altitude is, is not the highest, but um, I'm sure there are others out there like me that like to take it off-road uh, but just didn't want to pay full price for the Rubicon. You don't do it enough to where it's uh, really a thing. So just wanted to share this video and here that comes. So here we go. We're going to do a little drive and uh, listen for the sound that is coming. I'm going to turn the audio off in both this camera and this camera and you'll be able to hear uh, only the audio coming from the GoPro in the rear if um, if these cameras are not picking up that audio. If they're picking it up, I'll leave them in, but I won't know that until I'm in editing. So I just wanted you to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, the vehicle is in four high auto. That right there is the sound that I'm hearing. be able to see that the steering wheel is still when I'm hearing it so it's not in the steering now I'm going to put it in two-wheel drive And you can hear, I don't know if you'll be able to hear when I'm putting my foot on the brake, but um, I do have a light on the roll bar that can show that. Um, that's hooked up to my third tail light. So when we accelerate, when we brake. So there's the sound.